used to this wonderful industrial machine with 21 inches under the head, but for 30 inch quilts, 12 inches under the head will be fine and then I can do my regular sewing on the same machine. So I have nine and a half uh, unquilted quilts, including the two that are downstairs <laughs> that go with patterns that I sell. And so, work in progress. And one of the things that work in progress allows you to do is see some of my process. And you're way back there. Why don't you come up here where you can see? Uh, but basically, when I make a quilt, I start with um, a design, usually sketching, and then I scan that into the computer and I play with it and come up with a final design that is going to be the outlines that I'm going to work with. And then I put that design on clear acetate and put it on an overhead projector. I mean, you remember this from grade school. <laughs> yeah. And I project it on the wall and make it whatever size I want it to be. In the case of this series, I'm making my freezer paper, I'm projecting onto freezer paper. I'm making my freezer paper 31 inches square because we all know when you quilt, it starts to draw up and get smaller. And since most of my quilts are very organic and have curved seams, um, if I put it on my mat and square it up with my rotary color, cutter to 30 inches and if I have to hack off half an inch here and there, nobody's going to miss it. So um, that's basically how I approach that. So um, the paper is still in these. I didn't bother to pull the paper out yet because it takes four days to drive from here to Port Townsend and I figure I can rip a lot of paper out in four days. Um, so as you can see, the drawing that I create on the freezer paper, I cut up into individual pieces and use those for templates for cutting my fabric. So I iron it to my the wrong side of the fabric cut around a quarter inch just like most quilting templates and piece it back together and I make very large ugly registration marks so that I can make sure I get everything lined up because what I'm doing is a method that I started back in the summer of 1989 I kind of invented this technique that I call apple piecing in order to survive the designs I was drawing for myself and make more than one quilt in a single lifetime. <laughs> it's actually very fast, easy, and accurate, which it says on all my pants. <laughs> um, and so the basics of it are, imagine you have two templates that have quarter inches, uh, seam allowances all around. One of them, the seam allowances are going to still lie flat. In the other one, I'm going to fold over the seam allowance so that the fold is right at the edge of the paper, and I starch it so it stays crisp and doesn't pop back up. And then I take it to my light box over there, and you can see a couple of modules from this quilt that are lying there. And you can see clearly once you put it on the light box, you can see the edge of the fabric or the edge of the paper. You can clearly see all the registration marks and I put a little bit of glue stick along the folded back edge and line up the edge of the paper. So my seam allowances are overlapped, the paper is just about it, and all the registration marks are matched up. So once it's glued together, I take it to the sewing machine and I sew it together with invisible thread using a one millimeter by one millimeter zigzag stitch. And it's that simple, and it just goes together like a giant puzzle. So, um, so you can, um, you're welcome to come up and, um, unless you've been eating barbecue and haven't washed your hands, you're welcome to touch them and uh, lift them up. And um, one of the things you'll notice is that it's a little waffly because the paper's still in. Freezer paper tends to get a little waffly when you iron it, especially. In that quilt particularly, I changed my mind on a lot of the colors three or four times and so I'm peeling the freezer paper off and putting it on a new piece of fabric and then pick, choosing another piece of fabric. And so it's waffly now, but I can assure you from past experience I know it will lie absolutely flat uh, once I get all the paper out.